So this little uh, hairball is a uh, development board for an AT uh, Mega 8 and I use this uh, microcontroller in the hand sensors of the speed timing system to monitor the analog voltages coming out of the IR sensors. Um, anyway, I use this uh, again to debug firmware. It looks a little hairier than it is uh, really. These are just uh, jumper wires. But let me explain a, a couple of things here. This uh, is a, a potentiometer. It's a 15 turn um, 10K potentiometer that sets the voltage reference for the analog digital converter on the um, AT Mega 8. So this board, when you first uh, buy it from Olamex, uh, has next to nothing on it. It has a little power supply and some serial uh, a serial port, but the rest of this uh, was, was um, components that I added to the board to help me create a little test bed for uh, these sensors. So anyway, this uh, potentiometer sets the um, ADC reference voltage on the micro. Um, right now I've got this pin right here, which is a pin 2 on the AT Mega, which is going to be generating an interrupt to the base station. So uh, if a certain voltage level uh, crosses a threshold of um, of the analog side, I'll generate this uh, this interrupt. So anyway, this is right now just connected to an LED, so that I can tell that the uh, interrupt happened. Uh, over here, I've got uh, two potentiometers. They're both 10Ks, um, and they <coughs> adjust a voltage that is essentially simulating the IR sensor voltages. So I can set it to uh, any threshold, any um, any voltage individually. If either one of these breaks a threshold, I should see an LED light up that will indicate that the hand trigger occurred. Um, other things that I did, I ran a header along here for uh, 5 volts and um, a header along here which can be connected to either 5 volts or ground. Right now I've connected it to ground. And over here I've got a another header for uh, ground as well. So in any case, <clears throat> I can use this to test how the firmware is working. So give you a quick demonstration. So assuming that a climber um, hit the sensor and caused the voltage to rise, I'm going to turn this on. I'm just turning this potentiometer a little bit to simulate that voltage rise. So that's a detect off of just one of the sensors and here's a simulation of a detect off the other sensor if I can get my screwdriver into it so those can be adjusted individually and in, uh, both inputs tested to the ADC and you can also see if you look down in the left hand corner you can watch the uh, interrupt happen on that LED now another nice thing about this setup is I, um, when I create my board, this is the uh, App Mega 8 board that will actually go in the um, hand sensor of the climbing, um, of, of the top of the climbing lane. And <clears throat> it's a very, very similar circuit as what I've got set up here. It's just more compact. It's on a proto board. Um, therefore I can make you know, many of these. So what I can do is uh, take the power off of this development board and power power this little guy. So this is how I test that these circuit boards are working correctly too. So I've powered that up. Now I'm going to extract the uh, ADC inputs and transfer them over to this board right here. It's pretty arbitrary which one is which. So I'm just plugging these into the same ADC port on this board. And for right now, <clears throat> I don't have a second LED. Um, so I'm just going to use this uh, debug LED right here for the uh, interrupt. 
So I've got this board basically powered kind of uh, parasitically and I'm going to do the same kind of test right here. So I just turned it up and you can see that LED on the very left fire. Same way with the second sensor right here. So that way I can I can test to make sure that this board is working. Um, and I've got a whole set of these boards made for the first uh, for, for the first two uh, timing systems that we've got coming out. So anyway, I wanted to give you a uh, rundown on what the test setup looked like for the micros that go into the hand sensors.